Hello everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today I'm going to show you morning chores with a downpour. We've been having one storm after the next and lots and lots of rain. And before the time changes and we start to get like super short days, I wanted to share with you one last morning routine, but this time rain edition. My voice, it's really coming back. Last night we had a playoff game for my son's soccer, uh, high school soccer team. And um, I, <coughs> I was screaming my head off um, and uh, it was so much fun. And then my son scored, I got everything on video and I'm so annoying screaming uh, so much if you don't know i am from uruguay which is a tiny country in between argentina and brazil and as argentina and as brazil we are 99 percent of people from uruguay loves loves soccer with a passion it's kind of a problem <laughs> so um yeah I get so excited every time that I go to one of their games. This was a playoff. It was just in the big, um, it was in the football field instead of their soccer field. So it was a big event, cheerleaders, uh, students cheering for their high school. It was just awesome. I had so much fun. I lost one of my earrings. I mean, I lost my mind in that game. So my voice is gonna be annoying throughout this video, but I still wanted to do it and share it with you because I was looking through my computer and I have less footage than I thought. Hope is gonna stay here because otherwise she loves to go and take a bath in the creek while it's raining and then I have to give her a bath. So we're not gonna do that. Today I'm gonna do soap, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of things in here, I'm gonna be doing a lot of cleaning and organizing and I lost part of the footage when I did the um, part of the tour of the trailer, um, you know, I lost my bedroom and I lost part of the pantry, so I'm gonna redo that, not today, I have lots going on today, and yeah. So I just wanted to share this with you. I hope that you join me. If you're new also, remember to subscribe if you enjoy these videos and like the video if you liked it. Now let's go outside in this downpour. Oh, by the way, I'm using my GoPro because my other camera is not waterproof. So I don't like the audio on the GoPro. I don't like how wide the lens are. I never know how to put it, how close or how far away to put it. So this is going to be a nice reminder of why I ignore my GoPro, but at the same time um, that it's necessary because we get so much rain that it would be impossible to share videos with you guys if you don't have a waterproof camera and I need to be outside. So let's get the going. goods are over there. There's Bun Bun Boy, my bunny. Over there where the tarp is. We um, are collecting some materials to build our well house. But yeah, let me let me take it with me and we'll do chores. It's gonna be wet and not so fun. But maybe for you that you're not getting wet. I'm bringing some water for the girls. I have a new system that I've been using for the hay for the boys. Um, they my supplies so they're dry under the trailer. But the boys are really I don't know, it's hard to put any kind of hay feeder in there because of how reduced their space is. So I am kind of uh, just doing the best I can. And right now, the best that I can is using this plastics to um, put the hay in. And I'll take one at night, they'll have that. And then I have this one for the morning, so I'll fill it up with hay and take it to them. Uh, it's yeah it's it, it's a thing 
I have to do it that way because otherwise I have to go get the the box that I used to put the hay then come back put the hay and this way I just exchange them um, I got these plastic things for free um, we kind of changed a few things around here there used to be a little well a lot of tools over here but since it's raining uh, we changed that we're adding more rocks here because this is super slippery but instead of putting the shiny side we put the other side up that one is the shiny side and it's so slippery we just have to turn it uh, but this uh, feeding area it's really convenient I kind of get all my food that I'm gonna feed for the day in the morning and then lock it up for uh, until nighttime so let me get some stuff it's here it's hard to see but basically here in this wheelbarrow I have all the alfalfa hay I've been buying alfalfa hay I'll tell you why in a minute and then on this other side I have like a hundred and what 30 pound uh, bale of orchard um, I was doing grass hay but the girls were getting fat um, and not the right kind of fat uh, they were just um, they were gaining a lot of weight in the areas where you know that they're overweight I don't know how to explain it like you can see a goat that I'm gonna try to step into the light you you can mm, see a goat that has a big belly and not necessarily is fat but once you look into their spine you can see if it's kind of chunky um yeah i i just and it was in general it was athene it was gaia it was briere um, and they are going to be first time moms this upcoming season and i don't need them to be fat <laughs> because once they're fat, it's hard to breed them. It's hard on their bodies for the delivery. And it's just, this is as far as I know, this is as far as I have read, this is as far as what I've, the information that I have. So the last thing I need is to have fat dairy goats because again, that's not in their nature. They shouldn't be, um, they should be in a healthy weight. And at this point, I was noticing that the grass hay was doing that. Now, am I gonna go back to grass hay? Yes, but it's gonna be in small doses and not everything that they eat because as, I mean, some people think that um, alfalfa will fatten them up and maybe for some goats do, but for my goats, they get full so much faster that they're not eating hay constantly. I read that they need two pounds a day per goat, adult goat, and that's pretty much all that they will take. Um, and then relax until nighttime when I feed them again some good, tasty alfalfa. They're all pregnant, but a theme, not yet. They're all pregnant and they just need all the nutrition that they can have. Um, if they are not eating nutritious food, then their pregnancy starts kind of in the wrong foot and that's not what I want from for them so because of that I, I just kind of switched the hay situation for the time being and probably uh, as they go along in their pregnancy I'll start buying grass hay for them supplementing because it makes it cheaper 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 for me but it's not really something that um i want to do as their only source of nutrition and yes i do feed alfalfa pellets but it's not the same um, they do need hay and that's most of their diet the hay so it should be the most nutritious one that i can afford so that's what i'm doing no, I don't think this camera is amazing when there's low light, but I don't know if you can see, but this is the the hay that I was talking about. This is the orchard and it's mixed that you can see it here with bluegrass. So orchard is kind of the thicker one and then the bluegrass that you can see right there. So 
this is green this has lots of nutrition for the doughs and this does not have alfalfa the alfalfa I'm only feeding at night the alfalfa hay this is what they're eating during the day now the main reason for that is I don't want to do alfalfa all day long remember we still have a few boys um, and I, I just don't want to overdo it and the, the minerals that I'm feeding them doesn't have ammonium chloride I want to switch it like I'm almost done with this bag but it doesn't have ammonium chloride and I don't want my bugs to um, get any kind of urinary calculi that's kind of devastating and right here see, it's the same this you know how alfalfa looks like this is not alfalfa this is the orchard and bluegrass mix green nutritious as much as the as much as the does need the nutrition the boys do need it too during uh rat so it, and again i'm using this little plastic grains and now i'm gonna take this one put it inside the house and bring the empty one from the nugget hello you guys good morning those are the the one with the greener heads are the drakes and there's one girl that stays outside at night the rest are inside the house good morning beautiful goodies it's raining oh my gosh is it the devil no it's just rain let's go inside and i'll see solar lights are not charged all the way so i don't think you'll be able to see but uh they're back in shape clara was way too fat um you can see this was kind of chunky on both sides she's back to normal uh annabelle is back to normal and uh, uh, mocha is also going back to normal the ones that are taking longer to get off get rid of that fatty that they shouldn't have had in the first place it's um gaia my little girl Athene and I don't know if you'll be able to see but that's that one that's looking at me that's Briere uh, again there's not much line here so you're not gonna be able to see but they're super chunky uh, and that's not what you want in dairy goat and the only change I made at the time was the the grass hay they were exclusively on grass hay and they were on what's it called alfalfa pellets but now oh, they're back i mean if you remember look at clara she is looking oh my goodness so much better she i'm gonna try to put a clip or a picture of a few weeks ago when she was only on grass hay and it was ridiculous she was so round and she was so heavy and it's not good for her uh, she's now pregnant mocha over there Annie here in the middle and Clara they're pregnant as you know the mature does Gaia is pregnant and Briere over there is pregnant so they don't need the extra fat and I quickly realized that the exclusive grass hay is not good for them um, and it's a discussion because it depends on the person it depends on their budget and i'm not rich i don't have a, a, a you know a huge budget to spend on their pay but that would be one factor where i would say okay then it's time to start selling some of them if i cannot provide them with the best that i can afford and again right now they're all pregnant they all need the extra nutrition so i I have no problems. I have babies like Arya and um, little Ava who's down there. You cannot see her. She's kind of under Briere that need the nutrition. They need to grow. And I want to breed them for fall babies next year. So if I don't, you know, if they're not the right weight, you know, proportionate to grow in, I just don't need a fat dough. And how do you know that you have a fat dough? Look at Athene. Um, I mean, she it, she already has her winter coat, so it's hard to tell. But her um, 
kind of spine. You cannot even see it. Look at Clara's. She's a mature doe. So she even looks a little skinny. She's not. This is the way she looks when she's in a healthy weight. And you are a hay monster, little guy. <laughs> That's my little guy. The black boy, Mokash boy. And he <laughs> just gets under it. So he gets everything that they drop. Uh, and get the bottom too over there. So you can see he is eating at the bottom. You are just so cute. You're my hay monster, but you're cute. I need to brush him before he goes to bed tonight. Uh, and again, this is not bashing anybody. This is what I notice with my girls. Um, and when I notice that something is not working, I need to change it. Uh, right now, they are going through two. 130 pound um, bells of hay. So it's 130 pound per bell. They're going through two a week comfortably. Uh, they're not hungry. They're not screaming for more. They eat until they're super full. Then they chew the cut all afternoon and then they get more at night. Um, I consider weighing the, the hay to make sure that everyone has enough. But this is just going to make it a little bit more confusing because some will eat more like Clara and some will eat less like this little girl. Again, I don't want them to be infertile or have trouble with pregnancy because they're fat. And that's just the way it is. So let's go and get the boys done. Oh, and those two bells include the boys too. And I have one, two, three, four boys. So yeah, it's not only for the girls. I'm going to be very pretty, okay? I'll come back later. I have to add more straw. Um, this is the time of the year that they're in and out because they're eating hay inside. So I need to put straw, if not every day, every other day, to keep it dry because the, otherwise they're just laying not only on their manure, but they're also on the wet uh, floor because of their pee and stuff. Yeah, it helps um, warm, but you have to have a dry top layer, so that's, that's what we're doing later on.